Hi everyone, today we're going back into the lip collection and we are swatching 10 more and deciding if we're gonna keep it or not. I don't know how I feel about this eye look, y'all. It's a little much. I think, so if you have this or have something similar, I used the pastel, the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette and I use Skull as my brow bone and I just feel like it's too much. And I think it just, like, even that little bit, because it's just, like, right there, I just feel like it takes this whole thing to a new level. I'm not sure about it. But, you know, we're going to go with it. We're not, I'm not going to redo my makeup at this point. All right, so let's just, I'm just going to reach in and grab. Okay, so this is a L'Oreal lipstick in the shade 410 Volcanic. It's, like, an orangey red. I remember wearing this and liking it a lot. It still smells like a L'Oreal lipstick. Let's see if I still like it. I don't know. I've got so many. I'm really excited by the way this is going. I've gotten rid of like 13 lip products so far. I'm pretty happy about that. This is very orange. It feels really nice. Like it doesn't feel drying going on at all. And I'll be honest, I don't keep up with lipsticks in general well enough to know if like this formula is still available. I like that a lot. That's really pretty. All right, this is this is staying. This is definitely staying in my life. All right, mm. that wasn't too hard to, I'm gonna try not to start off with like three liquid lipsticks. That would be great, right? Oh, I just threw this off. Picked it up and then threw it. Oh, this is one of those NARS lip pencils that I feel like like three or four years ago, maybe longer. I have a terrible like sense of YouTube time. I'm terrible at it. I'm really good at like knowing when things happen in my own life. But as far as YouTube, I'll be like, oh, that was popular like a year ago. And it's like, well, that was popular like seven years ago. Um, this is the NARS lip pencil in the shade Rikugian. Like everyone had this and everyone loved it. I don't remember how I got this. I certainly didn't buy it. It was in like a gift or purchase. Or maybe it came in like a holiday set. All right, what is this offering? It's easy to apply, it feels really smooth. I mean, it's pretty. It's not like, super special to me but it is pretty I don't know I kind of feel like if I don't know I should keep it because I'm not like over the board like loving that but I don't dislike it either like it's, it's just fine I'll keep it for now I feel kind of blech today do you know do you ever have those times where you're just like well, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like, hey, what's up? Like, my normal perkier self. I just feel a little, blech. It's also very gross outside. I don't have, like, what is it called? Seasonal affective disorder? I've never had that or anything. I actually love winter. I just, just feel kind of blech. I didn't sleep well. So that could be part of it. All right, this is one of those Lorac Beauty and the Beast lipsticks in the shade Trishik. This is like a dark brown. I should probably like actually look at all of these lipsticks because I don't want to put one on and there'd be like fungus on the bullet. It's also a little dark in here because it's just really blech outside. All right, this is a brown. Like already brown. I do, so I've told y'all, I don't like to wear um, like multiple lip products at once. I just like to have one, but I do like a lip liner. I kind of like that. I kind of like, ooh, look at Becky. She's dark and mysterious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that for now, so we're going to keep that. So three for three to keep. Which, like, part of me is like, no, you have to get rid of some stuff. But also the main point of this is to get rid of stuff, but also just to know what I have. 
and to know just like on a very basic level, do I even like this? Because a lot of it I don't know. And then I might go back through it and do like some comparison swatches and stuff. That might be down the line. But right now I'm just trying to be like, do you even like this? So this is the L'Oreal Glossy Balm in the shade 240 Pink Me Up. I want to say I got this in like Influencer. So let's check the bullet for nasties. No nasties. Great. I was thinking about this morning. So I've got another like year and a half of my PhD. Oh y'all, this stinks. Mm -mm, I'm not putting that on. That stinks. This one's going. Um, this is the Revlon Color Burst Matte in the shade 210 Unapologetic. I really liked these. Let me smell it first. Yeah, it still smells pepperminty. But okay, so I've got like another year and a half of my PhD. And then I'll have been here for four years. And I'm kind of thinking that when that happens, like right before we move, I might just get rid of everything that I bought before I moved here. Not, not everything in my life, but like everything makeup wise. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that because like then it, it's at least four years old. Some of it's older and that's kind of old for makeup. So that's kind of something I was playing with this morning. We've got lots of time to figure that out. I remember really liking this shade at one point. I probably, if I had to choose like a finish for lip products and I could only have one, it's probably matte lip. I just like them. I love that. Mm hmm I really love the way that looks. All right, we're keeping that one. So, so far we're keeping four out of five. And again, it's okay. I mean, I would love to have a day where it's like, oh, I'm keeping zero. But I don't want to get rid of stuff just to get rid of stuff. I want to actually like think about it and be like, okay, I don't like this. I don't need it. Mm. I hate it when you run out of coffee, don't you? It's so sad. All right, this is an e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Touch of Pink. I'm not sure what formula. I've never worn this. Nope, it's never even been swatched. It smells fine. It's like ever so slightly uh, lighter than my lip color, I feel like. Just like ever so slightly. almost looks like I'm not even wearing lipstick. And so part of me is like, if it looks like you're not wearing lipstick, why even have it? But it's pretty. I don't know, these nudes I kind of don't know what to do with. I mean, I don't dislike it, so I'm gonna keep it for right now. I'm so sorry if you wanted to come on here and see me throw out like everything I own, cause that's just not my thing. I watch those videos and like I'm not saying they're not enjoyable but it's also just like but why so this is the NYC city proof twistable lip crown in 30 Manhattan mauve they smell the same this was a favorite I remember what because I got these when I was like first really getting into lipstick or like makeup in general and I was like I'm gonna use this up so fast and then you see how much is in it. It's like, like I haven't even worn off the very top part. Oh, you sweet summer child. Before I knew how long it took to use up makeup. And I was buying so much every single week that there's no way I could do it. But I honestly thought that. It's like wanting to be bright. But it's not. Hmm. Maybe I just need a little more. I kind of like it. Okay, we're going to keep this one too. I feel a little bit. 
like I said, I already feel kind of just like weird today. And it's only like eight o'clock in the morning, so hopefully it gets better. I listen to some Disney music on the way to work. If I'm having a bad day, that's truly something I do. I listen to Disney music. And on Disney Plus, if you don't know, so I just get into weird moods. Um, and it's surely there's something like at its base. And I know that right now I'm really concerned about COVID and like my wedding. That's like something that's really weighing heavy on my mind. So I know that's like the real issue. But sometimes if I get into these kind of moods, I just need something to like take my mind off of it. And so if you're that way, on Disney Plus, there's a whole like 45 minute special of them decorating um, Disney World and Disneyland for Christmas. And that just makes, that puts me in a better mood. So we might watch that tonight because I'm not feeling great. But that's okay. It happens, you know? Nobody, I mean, nobody is great all the time. They're just not. Okay, this is another one of those um, Alice Through the Looking Glass palette, or uh, looking, Through the Looking Glass lipsticks. I have the palette. I got rid of one of the lipsticks. This is in the shade Alice. I liked this one, I remember. I don't know if I still do, you know? And someone had the idea, and I thought it was a good idea, about depotting another lipstick into this bullet, if I really like the packaging. And I don't think that's a bad idea at all. I just don't know, I don't know. Like, I really like keeping things together. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but like, people talk about depotting palettes, and like, I'm into the idea of buying single shadows, but depotting palettes, I don't like. I don't know, there's something about it, and I feel like that's kind of how I feel about lipsticks. This just adds like a little bit of pink shimmer. I don't know how well, yeah, I think it's picking up pretty nat pretty right on camera. It's warm tone. I don't know, I kinda like it. We're gonna keep it. <laughs> Why not, you know? Even if I just gave it a one today, that's still one less thing I have. And I have to remind myself of that sometimes because I'll be like, I have to get rid of 10 things. And it's like, you don't. Just get rid of what you don't like. And that's the whole goal. Because, I mean, I'm sure y'all watch Declutters and you see people get rid of like a shit ton of stuff. And you're just like, well, that's what I should do. But it's not. You don't have to do that. Sorry, my little peppermint was flipped over. All right. This is another one of those Urban Decay Through the Looking Glass. It's in the shade Time. Ooh. This is fuzzy. Can y'all tell? It's a little fuzzy. I don't want that. We're getting rid of that. I'm not trying it on. I probably don't need a dark blue lipstick either that's again I bought them because I bought everything in the collection so we're getting rid of that how many have I done eight no that was number nine because this is seven plus two is nine got one more mm, try this this is the NYX lip gloss or butter gloss in the shade Eclair this I feel like is was a hardcore like YouTube favorite everybody wanted it everybody had it That like very pastel pink. And again, I know you can wear it with something else. I just don't like to do that. So I'm not going to like plan on doing that when I'm thinking about whether I want to keep or get rid of something. I don't like that shade. Mm -mm, I don't like it. We're getting rid of it. All right. There we go. So. This is the third one of these I've done that was just dedicated to lips. First one I got rid of four, the second one I got rid of five, and today I'm getting rid of three. So, you know, that's an average of 40% or four. Um, but again, the, the plan isn't just to get rid of everything I own. The plan is to, do you like it? Do you even want to keep the color? That's what we're doing, just like the first level of do you like the color? And then we might dive a little deeper because my lip products are out of control. But we got three out today, so we're getting rid of the NYX Butter Gloss and Eclair, the Urban Decay Lipstick in Time, and the L'Oreal Glossy Balm. And let's just remember that two of these have gone bad. This one hasn't gone bad, I just don't want it. But 
I like to really focus on that on my channel. Or not focus, but like try to remember that like makeup goes bad. And it does. And we the more you accumulate, the more likely it is you're gonna have stuff go bad. So two of them have gone bad. We're getting rid of those. And then I've got seven that I'm keeping. Little Rock Beauty and the Beast and Trey Chic, L'Oreal Volcanic, um, Nars Rakugian, Lure, uh, Urban Decay Alice, NYC in Manhattan Mauve, Elf, oops, there we go, okay, in Touch of Pink, and uh, Revlon Color Burst and Unapologetic. I'm also really excited to. Now, like these that have gone through, I know eventually they'll end up in my project 10 uses, and I'm excited for that. It's just, I'm not wearing lip products every day right now, so I don't wanna put on my project 10 uses, but eventually they're gonna go in that, and that'll also help me decide what to keep and what to get rid of even more, you know, once they've gone through this process. So don't think that these are all gonna stay in my collection forever. It's just the first round. And I'm enjoying it. And I hope you all are enjoying watching it. I feel like, based on the feedback, it seems like you are. So that makes me happy. So um, that is all I have for you today. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, any of that, go ahead and link them down below. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye.